right, today we're going to go over our newest product, our gallium spoon mold. Um, and so basically you just assemble it, put your your bolts and your wing nuts together. Uh, you want some light pressure on the, on the mold. Um, it's soft and gooey, so you don't want to squeeze it too hard, or you might disform the, uh, the actual shape of the mold. Um, get your syringe out. You want to put your gallium in some warm water so it's liquid. I usually boil a little pan of water, then take it off and then set your gallium in there. Uh, for a few minutes to get it liquid and maybe about the 100 to 110 degree Fahrenheit range. This is about 40 ga uh, grams for your, uh, for your reference. The spoon actually only takes about 20 to 25, so you want to make sure you have enough. And then you can just suck up the gallium, and there'll be two holes on top, uh, one to insert the gallium and one as an air vent. So you can pick either side, um, doesn't really matter. And then you can just lightly press in and try to keep a nice uniform pressure. And once it spills back out the top like that, you know you're pretty much full. And you can see, um, you can top it off if you need to. Um, and then I'll just put the rest back there. And now you just wanted to let it uh, harden and solidify. Uh, sometimes if you get any uh, imperfections that you can see you can kind of jiggle around the mold or shake it and that helps get the gallium down uh, but now you can let it solidify by itself which might take a while in a room temperature normal room temperature because the gallium will solidify to 85 degrees so a quicker way is I usually set this in the freezer for a few minutes and that really speeds it up alright so now I just got my mold back out of the uh, freezer took a few, couple minutes you can make sure it's it's hard and frozen all the way um, you can just take apart the mold. So now you can just work the spoon out. And it takes a little jiggling, and you can kind of work it out without pulling too hard. And there you go. It's going to be soft and bendable. And you can cut off some of the gauges. Use a, a little, little razor blade knife and you can trim off any imperfections. Uh, and sometimes it might take one or two tries to get a perfect, uh, perfect fill out, but there you go. Well, it doesn't sound very good, but on a table it'll be ringing. Um, but it's very shiny. It looks like a pretty much a stainless steel chrome spoon. Um, and now the fun part. I got some warm water here, and here we go. We'll just stir away, and it goes right back to liquid. This is just, I don't know, about 100 degree water. And there goes our spoon. And now you can go ahead and refreeze this and pull that out. And you can do this over and over again. Great for uh, little science experiments or demonstrations um, for teachers and stuff like that. Um, and it's available at uh, rotometals.com and Amazon. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or email. Thank you.